Well, good morning. I guess we're going to start this video in the middle of it, since I wasn't thinking about making a video when I started this little project. This is a Heath kit model BR2 AM radio, which I've uh, taken out of the case. I bought this at an estate, so they offer $3 yesterday and I wasn't able to plug it in when I got it uh, to try it but I did notice as I had played with the uh, tuning dial that the little needle fluctuated between here and here and went like a metronome and didn't do anything else so when I got it home I decided to fix that so I pulled the chassis out and I got to this point where I had sort of fixed it here and then I got to thinking well I should do a video on this might not be in a lot of detail, but so you're seeing it after I took it out of the case, which was a simple matter of four screws at the bottom, three at the back, and the antenna is connected like that. So there's three and three screws there. We'll get it back together before the video is over and show you what it looked like. And a uh, pretty simple extradition here. Hardest part was getting the uh, knobs off. The set screws were just frozen. Uh, took a little liquid wrench to get those loosened up so I could pull them off and get the chassis out of the case. But I thought I'd clean it up. One thing I wished I hadn't done before the video is there's a huge white pile of old cobwebs there that was very interesting, but I just sort of plucked it off before I started the video. So it uh, seems to be in reasonably good shape. Well, here's the inside. Here's um, some of the tubes. Interior of the chassis. Let's look underneath it. Now there's some of the capacitors. looks in reasonably good shape I guess we'll uh, try and fire it up I've turned off some of these lights I've had around me maybe we'll get better lighting here I can never tell what this camera is going to do with lighting I've got the uh, cord plugged over into a uh, light bulb I'm indoors with AM, so I don't expect a lot here. And it's uh, the middle of the day. Usually at best I can get three or four stations in the day, AM. They don't start till about 80, 800. Well, I'll clean it up, put it all back together, and let's take a look at the finished product. I think I'll do some general cleaning. 
before we all reassemble it. All right, that looks uh, a little better. Not a really detailed job, but I'm not getting the navel jelly out or anything. Good enough for this project. One thing this will need before I decide what its final disposition will be, keep it or sell it, will be to put a new cord on it. Although the cord is pretty much in remarkably good condition. I don't know the age of this unit. Um, but it's really not in bad shape. Well, I did get it back together and I was a little disappointed at the end because my little tuning dial problem is back in a certain extent. It, uh, and I think it's a plastic piece right here that is just tightening on it and causing it to uh, hang up. I might have to just disassemble this again and try and uh, see where the hang up is here, but I'm pretty sure that's on that front plastic piece. But anyway, I think uh, it was a fun buy from the estate sale for $3. I think I got my money's worth either way. I noticed there was an RCA jack on the back and a little switch here. I figured that was for uh, input. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Heath Kit model BR2. Thanks for watching. Bye.